The advancements of technology is constantly influencing our lifestyles and occupations, resulting in an increasing need for professional software engineers. However, software engineers vary in their level of competence and proficiency, which can significantly impact the caliber of their output. In this video, we will explore the levels of software engineers, what sets them apart, and the skills and responsibilities that come with each level. So whether you are just starting in the industry or looking to advance your career, understanding the different levels of software engineering can help you set your goals and navigate your career path more effectively. Now before moving on, let me ask you a quick question. So which of the following is not a common software development methodology? A. Agile B. Waterfall C. Spiral or D. Linear You can write your answers in the comment section below. Now let's move on to the first topic. What a software engineer is? So a software engineer is a professional who uses engineering principles and programming skills to design, develop, test and maintain software applications. They are responsible for creating high quality software products that meets the needs of their clients or users. Software engineers typically work as a part of team collaborating with designers, project managers and other professionals to create software products that meet specific requirements. They may specialize in different areas of software development such as front-end or back-end development, database management, app development or security. The average salary of a software developer in the United States is $113,000 according to Glassdoor. To become a software engineer, one typically needs to have a degree in computer science, software engineering or a related field as well as strong programming skills, knowledge of software development methodologies and experience with various programming languages and development tools. Continuous learning and keeping up with the latest trends and technologies in the field are also essential for software engineer's success. So as we have understood about software engineer, now let's move forward and learn about levels of software engineer. So as a software engineer, there are five levels of expertise and each level has different responsibilities and expectations. These include software engineer in turn, entry-level software engineer, junior software engineer, mid-level software engineer and senior software engineer. Now let's understand each one of these in detail. So let's first start with software engineer intern. So as an intern software engineer, you're required to possess fundamental knowledge and proficiency in software development and programming. However, you'll also have the opportunity to enhance your skills by gaining practical experience and learning on the job. As an intern software engineer, you will also have various responsibilities that will help you develop your knowledge and skills in software development and programming. One of your primary responsibilities will be to write clean, efficient and maintainable code. This may involve coding assignments, programming exercises or working on real world projects. In addition, you will need to have good understanding of debugging techniques and tools and be able to troubleshoot issues that arise in your code. Then there will be collaborating with the team. So collaborating with the team is also an essential part of role. You will work with other engineers, designers, product managers, stakeholders on projects. Effective communication, collaboration and contribution to team meetings and discussions are expected. As an intern, you will be encouraged to be curious, ask questions and seek out opportunities to learn and grow. Taking on new challenges and learning new technologies is an excellent way to develop your skills. Another responsibility you will have is to follow coding standards and best practices. This ensures that your code is high quality, efficient and maintainable. Finally, you will be expected to complete assigned tasks and projects on time and to a high standard of quality. Overall, your internship experience will provide you with hands-on learning opportunities that will help you develop the necessary skills for a career in software engineering. So as we have gained an understanding of what is expected of a software engineer in turn, now let's understand about entry-level software engineer. So the expectations from an entry-level software engineer may be very depending on the specific job and company, but generally they are expected to have solid foundation in programming and software development concepts as well as the ability to learn and adapt quickly. Some of the responsibilities of entry-level software engineer includes Entry-level software engineers are expected to bring value to the company by contributing to production code. They are responsible for having their code integrated into projects code base and may work on critical components of the code. Along with their colleagues, they may be given an ownership of a feature of component of the project where they are expected to work closely with others to design, implement and test it. Code reviews are an important part of the process and entry-level software engineers are expected to participate in them. 
Furthermore, they are expected to take an active role in troubleshooting and debugging issues in the codebase, including finding and fixing bugs and performance issues. Finally, entry-level software engineers may be asked to contribute to projects planning, estimating the time and resources required for features, and suggesting technical solutions to achieve project goals. These expectations are all designed to ensure the entry-level software engineers are effective contributors to the team and are able to grow their skills and knowledge as they gain more experience. Now coming to the next level of software engineering which is junior software engineer. So as a junior software engineer you are expected to have a good understanding of fundamental programming concepts, basic data structures, algorithms, software development processes. You should be able to write clean well organized code and be familiar with at least one programming language and relevant technologies. In addition to technical skills, employers and colleagues expect you to have good communication skills, a willingness to learn and adapt, and a team-oriented mindset. You should be comfortable in asking questions, collaborating with colleagues, and working with others to achieve common goals. You should always be proactive in seeking feedback and continuously improving your skills and knowledge. As a junior software engineer, you should be working under the guidance and supervision of more experienced engineers. You should be open to constructive criticism, be willing to take on tasks that may be outside of your comfort zone, and be committed to delivering quality work on time. Next up we have is a mid-level software engineer. So as a mid-level software engineer, you are expected to do various responsibilities, some of which include project management. Mid-level software engineers may be responsible for managing the technical aspects of projects including scoping, planning and tracking progress against projects milestones. They may also be involved in budgeting and resource allocation decisions. In some companies, mid-level software engineers are also involved in designing an architecture and overall structure of software products. They may work closely with other engineers and architects to ensure that the software meets the business requirements and is scalable and maintainable. Mid-level software engineers may be involved in the testing and quality assurance activities including designing and executing test cases, ensuring the software meets the acceptance criteria and participating in code reviews and other quality assurance processes. Some mid-level software engineers are involved in researching new technologies and tools, experimenting with new programming languages, frameworks and development methodologies and identifying ways to improve the software development process. Overall, mid-level software engineers are expected to be versatile and adaptable able to contribute in variety of ways to support the goals and objectives of their team and their company. Next we have is Senior Software Engineer. So as a Senior Software Engineer, you are expected to undertake a range of duties including but not limited to Technical Leadership. Senior Software Engineers are responsible for providing technical leadership to development team. They must be able to make strategic technical decisions, providing guidance to team members and ensure that the team is following best practices. Senior software engineers are often involved in architecture and design of software systems. They must be able to understand the requirements of the system and design a solution that is scalable and maintainable. Senior software engineers are still expected to write code and be able to actively involved in implementation. They may take on more complex coding tasks for review and mentor junior team members. They may also take on project management responsibilities such as scheduling tasks, managing budgets and communicating with stakeholders. Senior software engineers often serve as mentors and coaches to junior team members. They must be able to provide guidance and support to help the members grow in their field. So the role of senior software engineer is to provide technical leadership and expertise to ensure that the software being developed is of high quality, scalable and efficient. Alright, so these were some levels of software engineer. Now let's understand how to advance in your software engineering career. To advance in your software engineering, continuous learning and development of technical and soft skills are essential. Specializing in a particular area of software engineering such as artificial intelligence, mobile development or cyber security can help one progress by acquiring knowledge and experience through online courses, hands-on projects and certification. Networking is a vital aspect of advancing in software engineering career. Attending industry conferences, joining online communities and building relationship with colleagues and mentors can provide opportunities for career growth such as job referrals, offers or new project collaborations. Leadership roles such as leading a project, mentoring junior developers or managing team can also help in advancing career. Effective communication, problem solving and decision making skills are crucial for success in these positions. Finally, staying up to date with industry trends and advancements is crucial to remain relevant and competitive. 
Engaging in continuing education, attending training sessions, and reading industry publications can help software engineers stay current in their field and advance their careers. So these were some of the ways to advance in your software engineering career. Now let's have a look at some tips to moving up the levels. So these were some of the tips for moving up the levels. So if you're a software engineer who wants to advance in your career, there are several steps you can take to achieve your goals. First and foremost, it's important to have strong foundation in the core concepts of software engineering, including data structures, algorithms, design patterns, and programming languages. This knowledge will provide a solid base for your career. To keep up with the ever-changing landscape of software engineering, you will need to expand your knowledge continually, attend conferences, read technical blogs, and participate in online communities to stay up to date with the latest technologies and industry trends. Seeking feedback from your peers and mentors is another crucial step in advancing your career. It will help you identify your areas for improvement and learn from your mistakes. Soft skills such as communication, problem solving and leadership are also essential for advancing to higher levels of responsibility. Developing these skills will help you build better relationship with colleagues, manage conflicts and take on leadership roles. Finally. Consider pursuing advanced education such as master's degree or specialized certification to gain deeper knowledge in a particular area. Advanced education can help you stand out in a competitive job market and demonstrate your commitment in your field. By taking these steps, you can increase your chances of advancing your career as a software engineer. So these were some of the tips for moving up the levels. Now let's move forward and understand the importance of continuous learning and development. So continuous learning and development are crucial for software engineering professionals and here are the reasons why. Firstly, technology is continually evolving and staying updated with the latest tools, frameworks and programming languages is essential to remain competitive and relevant in the field. Continuous learning and development helps software engineers to acquire new skills and knowledge which can help to lead innovative problem solving solutions. Continuous learning and development can open up opportunities for career growth and advancements. Professionals who continually improve their skills and knowledge are more likely to be promoted to leadership roles. Software engineers are responsible for solving complex problems and continuously learning and development can help them better understand the problem space and come up with the better solutions. Finally, the benefits of continuous learning and development also extend to the entire software development team. When team members continuously improve their skills, the team become more efficient and efficient in their work. In conclusions, continuous learning and development are crucial for software engineering professionals and can help them succeed in their careers while driving innovation and problem solving in the field. So if you are aiming to get certified in the postgraduate program in full stack web development, and want to build a full stack web development career. In that case, you can check Simply Learn's postgraduate program in full stack web development, which will open the doors for the best career opportunities. To find the details, Simply Learn's postgraduate program in full stack web development, check the link in the description box below. It could be the ideal solution to help you build your career in the right direction. And with that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.